Hey everybody, this is Brendan here with Common Motor, common-motor.com on the internet, and today is gonna be part of a long multi-part series. We are going to be tearing down this engine bolt by bolt and laying all the pieces out so you can see it all spread out on table. Spark plug on the side. Kickstarter. There. So there are bolts here. I'm doubtful we're gonna be able to get this cover off as it is. I think I must pull the whole thing off and then we can deal with that on the bench later. Indeed, but let's see if we can get this to and just so you guys know, the engine is it's not stuck. It turns over. Engine turns. Let's get that uh, bolt taken up there. That's our bolt for that. I might just be able to wiggle it off. Sometimes I just wiggle off. And sometimes I don't. It wants to come off. There it goes. All right, Kickstarter. Cool. Okay, let's pull off. Uh, let's pull off this cover here. That one looks pretty. Rusty, that one looks pretty rusty. Let me just go ahead and hit these. I'll attempt to take this off right now, but I'm I'm actually pretty pessimistic that these screws are gonna strip, but we'll give it a shot. Anyway, if they strip, we're gonna have to take it apart on the bench. All right, ready? Yeah. Nope. I'm not surprised. Those. Those are notorious. All right, let's see if we can break these others loose though and get them out. And actually, these are in pretty good shape. They're not, definitely not the worst ones I've seen. That. If you don't have a mallet like this, you can use a block of wood and a hammer. You just don't want to be hitting on this with a steel hammer, or even a brass hammer, or something that. Our side cover with some ooze in it. Well, that's the, totally the original Honda gasket. No one's never been in here to do anything. That's all I'm gonna worry about with the gasket because we'll clean it up. We'll see engines apart. All right, our next task over here in this bottom part of the engine is to remove, uh, this is our oil filter rotor. So we're gonna take that apart and take the clutch and clutch basket apart and the oil pump comes off at the same time with it and all this stuff just kind of slides out of place. Um, and that side of the engine will be stripped down. So let's get my snap ring pliers and take apart the oil rotor. Right now I can see this, this engine's pretty clean on the inside, which tells me it probably wasn't run very much, although the outside's pretty crispy. Snap ring pliers. Put my hand over it so it doesn't launch across the room or into my face. Our snap ring right there, it comes out. Now comes our oil filter rotor. I'm using one of our old bolts that we were gonna throw away. Threads into the middle here. Throw a few turns here. And I'm just gonna tap on this real gently with the hammer. Look at all this cover loose. Not being real gentle. Let's see if we can, there it goes. Now this cover is difficult to take off. You can get a longer bolt. You thread it all the way through and keep going through with it. And what'll happen is eventually that bolt will bottom out inside there. And it'll push the cover off, just like we took the rotor off for the, uh, uh, the stator. Take that out. Thank you, bolt. There's an O-ring in here. Pull the O-ring out. That goes in the trash. All right, uh, we're gonna get close in here in some detail. I'm gonna wipe it out here real quick because there's some uh, lock tabs and stuff we need to pull apart so we can get in here, get this clean. 
So uh, we're looking on the inside of the oil filter rotor here, and we have this kind of, I call it the funky nut that holds it on there. This is where our, our 9005 tool is used to take it off. But before we can actually remove it, there is a lock tab that's bent into one of these notches. On this case, it happens to be this lower one here. Sometimes there are two of them are bent. You never know who's been in there. So I gotta use a punch and a hammer to bend this tab down. All right, now that's out of the way, I can actually remove the, the nut there. All right, so this is my high performance gear wedge tool, AKA uh, a penny, the most expensive one you can buy. So 350s have these um, offset gears. You can see how uh, the gear teeth are offset one tooth from each other here like 450s and 360s this is one big gear and that's one big gear but regardless it kind of works the same way i'm going to take my penny i'm just going to kind of wedge it right there because when i attempt to turn the engine here the gears are going to want to turn to take off the uh the funky nut especially if you don't have an impact and you're using a, a breaker bar i'm going to use the impact anyway my four prongs make sure i'm on that correctly i gotta see it all right it's on there There it goes, right there. That's it. Take my penny out. Okay, here is the oil filter uh, retaining nut, and it's got a flat side and a rounded bevel side. That rounded bevel side will be going in. This should just wiggle off now. Okay, here's our oil filter rotor. Uh, and this one happens to have two sets of like kind of notches and tabs in there. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's four, just depends on the engine. Uh, sometimes you have dots on the outside of this, depends who made it for Honda. Here is our lock, our locking tab washer that bend down and this, this notch will line up with one of these, like those raised grooves in there. You put it back together. But underneath that, there is another washer that is kind of actually, it's, it's, it's domed like this, it's hard to see on camera, and it does distinctly say outside stamped in it, which means that you put this in first for the outside, it says outside facing out, and then you put the tab washer on, and then you would torque that down in place with the rounded edge for the torque wrench. So it's, it is particular how it goes together. Um, let me take it apart, so. Do all that, put it aside. Uh, I'm going to take off these drive gears here and I'm going to mark them as I take them off, not only which orientation they are, but the order they are in. Uh, I'm just going to get here the screwdriver, they should just wiggle off. Perfect. Give it a wipe real quick. And what you'll find is they're not symmetrical. Like that side is machine smooth and this one has a little raised ridge on it. So I'm going to put that one, mark that one as outside, just right out on it, put it aside. I can't take that one off until I remove the clutch, but I have to take that one off first. So we'll get back to it in a second. Uh, our next task, oil pump right here. I got two bolts to hold it in place, or actually three bolts. Two of them have lock tabs on them, on the bolts here. So I'm just gonna bend those lock tabs down and we're gonna remove the bolts. Okay. okay, let me see if I can do this with a punch. Sometimes you have to use a screwdriver, sometimes you can use a punch. I prefer to use a punch. All right, that one's gonna bend down the way. Let's see if we can do it on this one over here. I have to move the engine out just a little bit. Okay. 
go ahead and we'll take those three bolts out and then we're gonna take out these four bolts for the, the clutch. Okay. One. Three. Keep those on that tab there so I know. They go there. Let's the other one out. So it's, we have to take these oil pump bolts out right now because the oil pump and the outer part of the clutch basket all come off as a single assembly. So you can't pull the oil pump off without taking off the clutch on, on a 350 engine here. So we'll take the clutch disc off next. Each one of these is a bolt and a thick washer and a clutch spring. I'm just gonna kind of keep them together. It's not hypercritical, but it doesn't really matter what slot they go in. It's not a, a critical part like that. Spring bolts, blah, blah. Okay, let's take off the inner clutch basket and the clutch plates. I'm just gonna take a screwdriver real gently. Just gonna pry on them. Just like that. Pops open one, two, three. All right, so here's our outer clutch plate, clutch disc. I'm gonna replace these, so I really don't care. Um, here's a steel. And actually, this whole bundle is stuck together. It's like steels and clutches. And this is an example. A lot of clutches will get stuck in the sitting for so long. And you're like, what's going on with my clutch? Well, you gotta open them up and separate them apart. And just steels and clutches and things. So here's the. Clutch steel right here. Steels, separate them out. Um, on the steels, we're gonna just see if they have any discoloration for where I would say 99% like of the time they're good to use again. So as long as they don't look cooked, they're usually fine. Okay, there's our clutch basket here. Got this plunger I'm gonna take out. This is what the clutch push rod pushes on. So a push rod would touch in there and that's what pushes the clutch assembly apart when you squeeze the lever, the handlebar. There, okay. Right in the middle here, I have a snap ring that I have to take out. Okay, snap ring pliers in, snap ring, come on. There you are, right there, snap ring. Huzzah. I'm actually gonna take my hammer, I'm just gonna gently, on the mallet here, and just tap on the oil pump. There we go, break it loose. And all of this slides off with one piece like that. Here's that inner clutch piece. Here's our outer clutch assembly. There it is. And here's why it has to come off as one piece the back side of it. Here's our oil pump. We can take that out of there. So we have this piston that's connected here on the back of the, of the oil pump. I'm gonna actually remove that piston from the shaft here and keep it with the oil pump. But that's how that all assembly comes off with one, one unit. The oil pump piston here. I'm just gonna drive the pin out. And that's our plunger. And here's our oil pump and uh, our oil pump screen. I don't like to recommend taking these off unless you have to because the plastic will, or rubber will crack and then, then they're done. But you can see all that sludge there that's on the bottom of the engine. It's been sitting for all these years. So yeah, there's that. It's all set for the side of the engine. I'm gonna keep it all together right there. Okay, here's our, our second gear. Now we can take this one off. Again, it has that lip on it, which is facing out. So I'm gonna write, write on it real quick and say, in. It's the inside gear, it'll face that way. 
So basically the, the two gears with a little spacer and it will face away from each other. And I wanna do that because they're matched up with how these teeth have worn together on there. So I'm gonna keep gear noise down in the future. There's also another washer here, the shimming washer and the end of the crankshaft right there. And it has a couple notches in it that line up with the splines of the crankshaft. Uh, we're gonna pull out, this is kind of the, the shift actuator assembly here and it actually comes up pretty easy. I'll just bring that down with my fingers and then that whole, this whole shaft just kind of pulls out. This is actually the shaft that the, uh, you gotta clean it on this side. This is the shaft going through the engine that hooks to the, um, the shift lever. On the other side, it's covered in grime because it's covered in grime. So I'm gonna go clean it with some uh, acetone here and uh, get it degreased. Some of this stuff too. There's always such a mess in here. The reason I get the dirt off is because it's got a very tight tolerance inside the engine here. And uh, there's dirt on it. It's not gonna wanna make its way through. All right, that's pretty clean. So I'm gonna do it from the, the side over here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Shift shaft. Got this uh, spring on here. That's what returns it in position when you shift. Okay. 